Hello everybody, welcome back to the Kerbal Space Program. My name is Chris and today we are presenting an amazing aircraft that I developed and this is known as Yellow uh, Mark III and don't ask me why I called it Yellow, I'm sort of running out of names so I just figured, oh yeah, Yellow, a colour, just plop that down there. <laughs> That's very bad. But this craft is something that I started a while ago, like three months ago and then I ditched it because it was too simple and then I just came back today and finished it up. Uh, basically this is a VTOL as the name says and you guys are like what where's the vertical engine? There is no vertical engine. I will show you. It is a VTOL. Okay. <laughs> watch watch. Okay this is, this is pretty cool actually. This craft is based off the Lockheed XFV aircraft that is a VTOL so now you know how this craft works. Well, some of you will know, but this is quite cool. Let's show. Oh damn it! Where's Chris Kerman? He was here before. All right, I don't think I killed him. He's still alive. <laughs> anyway, we've got an early lift off. These engines are amazing, by the way. Fantastic. Making him maneuver around. Pretty good. All right. Does that. Yeah, before the I uh, I had locked the gimbal range on these these jet engines, and maneuverability was not as good, so I unlocked them. So now they're a lot better than before. But basically, let me show you how this thing works. We are above the runway. Yep. Here we go. go up to about there. Now, when you're landing, you need to make sure you are below 8 meters per second, because if you are above that, then the wings will break. And make sure you're not sliding across the runway. Just going to throw it up a little bit more. Throw it down. Um, you guys might have to practice doing this. I pretty much got it in the first go. <laughs> Don't know. Good luck, I guess. Or maybe this is just really easy. Definitely need to throttle up here. Just a little bit. Now throttle down. I think we're sort of sliding a bit. Alright. Okay, we're, we're good now. Are we moving? Yeah, we are definitely sliding. So I need to burn like that. Now throttle up. Oh, that was dangerous. All right, but we got it. See, so we've landed, and you can, you can't really take out the curls because if you do, then you won't be able to get them back in. But basically, after you land, you can just throttle up again. Nice and easy. And then you can move on. Huh. So it's, I quite like it, and then you can also land, of course, on the runway using the wheels again if you want to. So it's a pretty flexible design. In fact, let's see if we can land on top of the VAV. That's going to be a, weird, a bit of a challenge, because it's a very specific spot. But, yeah, the, the Lockheed XFV is quite a cool aircraft. When I first saw it, I thought to myself, wow, this is very unique. Oh, we sort of... Missing the VAB here. We're pretty darn high up to... Okay. Oh, no. Oh, no. We're stalling. Don't stall, please. Alright, we'll just slide our way there. <laughs> oh. Oh. Throw it up a bit more. Take us there, please. Oh, that's a nice screenshot. Yeah, I haven't really seen anyone develop anything like this in KSP, so it's kind of unique. I tried, but I like, I just like landing. Uh, I haven't even tested to see if this thing works well in high altitude. I really don't care. I just want to do this VTOL stuff. It's so good. Yeah, and if you take a, I'll teach you guys a little technique once I get back into the space hangar. Oh my, what the? What's going on? Okay, we're definitely falling. 
Yeah, we are falling. Double down. Oh, we're actually definitely above the VAB. Whoa, whoa. This is intense. The Kerbalist, why are you so happy? There is a potential death for the both of you. Now we need to move to the center here. All right, sort of down a little bit. Oh, just a little bit. Okay, now we're all falling down perfectly vertical. So, throttle up again. Oh, oh, engine's off. Throttle up again. Oh, okay, we're good, we're good. What the? Oh. Well, I can't do anything about that. I mean, come on, guys. Hey, we're still good. All well, the engines are gone, but, you know. Uh, the VAB gave away. You can't blame me for that, guys. Come on. I mean, I landed the craft. That was legit. Yeah, but you suck. You can't even handle a simple craft landing. Ah, okay. Anyway, aside from that misfortune, did not expect that at all. Seriously, I did not. Oh, now that, that's broken. <laughs> Alright, now if you guys are making an, a, an aircraft and you want it to be just like this, when it comes to the vertical takeoff part, what you can do is, if you notice, we do have these wings that are poking out. And basically this craft is meant to land sort of on an angle like that. Because if you land sort of like that, you're going to fall down, definitely. But, you know, b before I had it so that, and it wasn't very good before, I had this wing sort of a bit lower to the ground and it just made this whole thing topple so I moved it up just so when you do land so once these these wings here touch the ground first you can move the craft slightly backwards and it will fall onto this wing it will be perfectly fine uh, but when you're designing the craft let's see if I can show you guys you want to move the craft low enough just so it's just touching the ground and then you can get a rough idea of which wing will hit the ground first so we know that this wing is going to touch the ground first and I do believe like one of the wings might sink into the ground slightly but generally speaking it's this is where it's going to touch the ground and then you fall back down onto this here where you will eventually be like that so yeah pretty interesting I will make this available again in the description for you guys to mess around with. Uh, quite a cool design, I, I'd say. <laughs> it took me a bit of time. I did record me designing this thing from scratch, but for some reason the recording software recorded just a gray screen. Don't ask me why. <laughs> I don't know, I think it's bugged out at the moment. And also we do have some lights illuminated somewhere. Yeah, we got these here. And then we have some other ones hidden somewhere in here. And I didn't even try to hide them. I just, it wasn't even trying. I just clicked, placed it, and it was inside the craft. So I know it's, it, it's within a wing somewhere, but that doesn't matter. <laughs> anyway, guys, I think this is it for this episode. I uh, hope you enjoyed, and see you next time. Take care.